Recently, I made a video comparing various 18 inch electronic ride cymbal pads. Go check that out if you haven't already seen it. And one of the categories for comparison was module compatibility. Two out of four of the rides in the shootout, the ATV ride and the Lemon ride, were only compatible with the Roland style two cable wiring, where you've got one cable for the bow and edge and another cable for the bell. This means that you can't get all three zones out of these rides on a Yamaha module, or they'll take up two inputs on a module like the Pearl Mimic Pro, one of the Drummit modules, or the eDrum in 10 if you're not using the Bell Sense feature. However, there is a solution to this. This handy conversion cable will allow you to combine those two outputs into one single cable. This means that you can solve that compatibility issue on a Yamaha module, or maybe even free up an input on a module that supports Yamaha style wiring. Hey, welcome back to the eDrum Workshop, I'm Luke. I bought this cable from Zorman Drums. They make a few handy cables and converters for various electronic drum compatibility needs, mostly for the older line of two box modules that didn't have the universal trigger engine. These particular cables are made to order, however, after maybe a couple of weeks, it arrived safe and sound, packaged in a padded envelope. On the surface, it looks like a simple enough splitter cable, but there is a little bit more going on inside which allows the functionality to work. One side of the cable contains a resistor and this is what the Yamaha symbol wiring uses to differentiate between the edge switch and the bell switch. In turn, this allows three zones over one cable. This conversion cable feels really well made with solid parts. These are all high quality neuteric connectors and the jack socket locks around the inserted cable, meaning that you're not gonna accidentally break the connection. And it really does work as simply as you'd expect. You just plug the two connectors into the bow and edge output and the bell output on the symbol respectively, then plug a single stereo jack cable into its jack socket and finally connect that to the single ride input on your module. Depending on your module you then might need to select a Yamaha style preset in order for the functionality to work correctly and then it just works. To address any potential confusion about what this cable can and can't do, this cable will not let you use three zones over one cable on a Roland module or a module that requires two inputs like an Alesis Strike or some other modules. It's not going to create a free secret input on a module that doesn't support this style of wiring. However, if you do have a mixture of different brands of cymbal pads like Roland cymbals or Lemon cymbals and a Yamaha module, this cable will give you the full function of those symbols on a Yamaha module. Or if you happen to have a couple of three zone two output rides like Roland ones and a Pearl Mimic Pro module, then two of these cables will let you use two rides at once. And the same goes for an eDrum in module. You don't need to rely on the bell sense if you're using one of these cables in order to get three zones out of a Roland or a Lemon symbol. So there are a few useful applications for it, but it's not gonna work miracles outside of its intended use. Just for the sake of experimentation, I also tried reversing the cable setup, plugging a Yamaha pad into the socket and attaching both jack cables to the two ride inputs using a Roland preset. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to work at all, but I gathered some people might ask, so I may as well show it. So the plus sides are that it's a great little conversion cable that does exactly what it's designed to do. It feels really solid, and of course it's non-destructive compared to rewiring your actual cymbal pad. The only real downsides are that it's pretty expensive, and a chunky connector cable dangling around isn't the most discreet. Cost-wise, the cable and shipping converted to £47.85, which is a lot for one cable. 
I was originally going to buy two cables, but I couldn't really justify nearly £100 for them. Now, you could do a conversion job on your symbol, but that would be permanent, or you could purchase the parts and make one of these cables yourself. There's a really useful guide by Retro Rambler over on the V Drums forum for anybody interested in doing so, and Anders from Zorman has even contributed towards the guide. This cable is using higher quality parts, and of course, you could always purchase cheaper parts to make one yourself, but personally, I didn't fancy it. My skills with this kind of thing aren't the best and it seemed pretty fiddly and time consuming. There don't really seem to be any alternatives knocking around online so if you think you'd find it useful and you're happy to take the price on the chin then I do think it's actually worth it especially if you've got more expensive symbols that you want to do this with. As for the downside of the connector dangling around this will depend on your setup. I'm sure that if you really needed to you could cable tie it to the stand or attach it in some other way and it does look like the strain relief on the cable is very robust. What do you think? Would this cable come in handy for you? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked any of the preset kit sounds that were used in the demos on this video, they're all available over on my store at theedrumworkshop.com. Go check it out. I've got kits and samples available for multiple modules. Don't forget to check out my 18 inch electronic ride cymbal shootout video here to see which one would be best for you. Or have a look at any of my other electronic drum reviews here. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!